Alright, so let's move on. I'll tell you this one. This one ain't gonna be long today. This ain't gonna be this ain't gonna be a long show today. I had to make sure I get it in. Got got a lot of jam-packed things to do today. It's a tight schedule, so but I had to make sure I get this thing in. So Rick Patino, former coach of Louisville, basketball, um, Boston Celtics, Kentucky. Um you know, he caught up in the NCAA scandal, some things that happened when he was at Louisville. So, the University of Louisville has received a level one notice of violations from the NCAA for infractions that transpired under former coach Rick Rutino, who was given a level two notice. Pat Ford of Yahoo Sports originally reported the findings. The level one violation is considered the most serious by NCAA standards. It is unclear what the NCAA report will say, but it's likely the school will face a postseason ban based on uh, official uh, official penalty guidelines. Okay. Louisville is considered a repeat offender, which will likely increase the school's punishment. Patino, who was recently hired as the head basketball coach at Iona, uh, will likely be given a show a show calls pen penalty face a suspension and have limitations placed on his recruiting. The show calls penalty is given to ensure the punishment stays in place for any future jobs Patino may take. Patino was specifically cited for failing to promote an environment of compliance. Here's the release he here is the release's description of the level one notice. Okay, so they're describing what he did. A level one allegation that an improper recruiting offer and subsequent extra benefits to the family of an arrow of an enrolled student athlete and a recruiting inducement to a prospective student athlete's non-scholastic coach trainer were provided by certain individuals um, purportedly identified and defined by the NCA as representatives of the university's athletics interest none of whom had traditional connections to the university beyond their affiliation with Adidas or professional athlete management entities as well as by a former assistant coach and a former associate head coach. That's right, because they was getting money from Adidas. They was funneling money from Adidas to student athletes and, and, and certain people in place at Louisville. Patino responded with a notice to the notice with a statement saying he firmly disagreed with the allegation. He says, we are aware of the report. The NCAA has a process to address the allegations prior to hiring Coach Patino. We conduct the extens uh, extensive due diligence. We support Coach Patino and expect him to respond within the, within the process. So this is from Patino. Today, the NCAA released a NOA and allegations, a level two violation against me. I firmly disagree with this allegation and will follow the protocols in addressing this allegation through the administrative process. Due to NCAA bylaws on public disclosure on enforcement issues, I will have no further commitment, I mean comment on this matter until it is resolved. That bitch know he guilty. He know he guilty. The NCAA's investigation centers on pay for play allegations that Louisville that involved Louisville and Adidas executives, specifically in regard to former Cardinals player Brian Bowen, former assistant coach Kenny Johnson, is accused of paying Bowen's father uh, 1300 to secure his commitment. 1300 to secure his uh, commitment. And assistant Jordan Fair is accused of paying 900 to recruit another player. Man, hold on, dog. Y'all in this. For one thousand three hundred dollars and nine hundred dollars, for that little baby ass money, man. As a recruit, I would be offended if you offered me one thousand three hundred dollars to come play at your school. Bitch, please. I'll wipe my ass with one thousand three hundred dollars. Nine hundred dollars to recruit me. Man, if you're going to break some rules, break some rules, man. I need at least 100000 bro. So, that's crazy. But, so now, uh, Patino got the level two violation or the accusation or, 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 yeah, the level two violation. So, the NCAA, man, they own his ass. Patino, man, they own you, bro. What you going to do? I don't know why I did that, but. Patino, man. 
but they got you. So, um, Patino has had rumblings and things that has that have followed him in the past. Um, time keep passing, and as time passes, new information keep coming up. He gonna be banned from playing ball, from coaching ball. Um, eventually, he gonna get banned for real because shit keep coming out with him. So, Patino, man, you got to, you got to clean up your act, bro. You got to clean up your act, bro, because they gonna get you. They gonna get you. So, a level two violation. Patino get Louisville get a level one violation. Um, so I remember some people were arrested and stuff in the past. So this is the latest update that we got on Rick Patino and everything that he got going on. I love this picture they got of him. He looked look like um, um, Al Pacino in one of them Scarface moments. Or one of them um, uh, Any Given Sunday moments. So he know he did it, man. He know that he know he know they he know they wildin', man. He know they messed up. They know they messed up, man. They know they messed up. That's the that's the crazy thing about it. They know they messed up. But they ain't go they ain't gonna come clean with it. They ain't gonna say nothing about it, but they know they messed up. They know they messed up. Yeah, man. But whatever, man. But I just wanna bring y'all up to speed on what's going on with this Louisville thing and Rick Patino since we've been talking about it over the years. So there it is. So let's get to something. Um even crazier Shannon Brown so former LA Lakers Shannon Brown former NBA player used to be married to Monica and I was wondering how the hell that happened right so Shannon Brown is arrested for firing a gun at people at people viewing the home he was selling what the hell is going on between the sheets and my home? All right, so former NBA player Shannon Brown was arrested last week after he allegedly, allegedly, allegedly fired a gun at two people viewing his for sale home. TMZ report, reports that Brown, who played alongside Kobe Bryant for the Lakers in 2009 and 2011, pulled a rifle. He pulled a rifle on two people at his Georgia home on May 2nd. Shannon, what you doing, bro? Shannon! Shannon, what you doing, man? A spokesperson for the Tyrone Police Department. This, Ty this police department named Tyrone. I think you better call Tyrone. Somebody done broke in my home. My home, my home, my home. I think I better call Tyrone. Oh, oh. But you can't use my phone. That's funny, Tyrone. So the Tyrone Police Department said that the alleged victims reported the incident around 9.45 p.m., claiming that Brown had fired rounds at them. Two people said that they were looking around for houses in the area when they noticed a for sale sign outside Brown's house. They entered through an open gate, and they claimed that when they reached the door, they, they were told to come in. When inside, Brown allegedly confronted them, ultimately agreeing to let them to let them go after an unspecified amount of time. As they were leaving, they said that Brown fired at least five or six shots at them both. When police arrived at the scene, they discovered a shell casing in the area. Brown was arrested for aggravated assault. He bonded out of jail on May 4th. Brown first got his... Uh, I don't care about all that. 